Hey everyone, in today's quick tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use this new automatic object mask tool in Adobe Premiere Beta. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is highlight my clip in the timeline. And then I'm gonna go over to my toolbar. I'm gonna to see this new object mask tool. Go ahead and select that. Go up to your program monitor and just simply click on what you wanna mask out. So you're gonna see the basketball highlight in red, but I still wanna mask out my basketball player. So all I need to do is click on him as well. Once you see your mask appear, go up to effect controls and then under unassigned masks, We're going to go over and click Track Selected Mask Forward and Backwards. Now Premiere is going to analyze the rest of the clip. This is going to follow our subject's movement and update the mask frame by frame. Depending on the length and complexity of your clip, it might take a few seconds or a couple minutes. Now that our object is masked and tracked, we can apply any effect to that specific area. So let's say I want to change out the background. All I need to do is grab our object mask and move it into our opacity dropdown. And now that's going to let us just put any sort of new background we want under the clip. Now let's say I want to add an effect to our subject. All I need to do is just go up to the effects panel, search for any effect, and drag it onto our subject layer. Go to effect controls, and I can apply what I want. In this case, I'm going to desaturate. And then I can add as many effects as I want. And that's about it. The automatic object mask tool in Premiere Pro Beta makes complex masking incredibly easy. No more tedious frame-by-frame -frame rotoscoping. Okay guys, that's going to be it for this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my other videos.